So the problem that you were given was 608 divided by 2. So we're going to go through the steps again. First step is to divide. So we're going to focus on this 6. Is 6 a multiple of 2? Or what is a digit that's right below? What, what multiple of 2 is right below that if 6 is not? So we go over to our multiples of 2, which most of you know your 2s. So this is pretty easy. 6 is a multiple of 2. So, so 6 divided by 2 is 3. So first step was to divide, and we're going to put that right above the 6. I see some of you are not putting it right above the digit. You need to put it right above the digit you're dividing. So we divide. Yes, check. Then we are going to multiply. Again, I can put my little multiplication sign to remind me that I'm going to multiply these digits. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. So I multiplied. Then I subtract it. So now I check. Is 0 less than 2? Yes, it is. So I checked my check. And now I'm going to bring down, bring down the number. And if I bring down the 0, 0 minus, I bring down 0, 0 is less than, 0 is less than 2. So 0 divided by 2 is 0, right? Because you can't divide. 0 by 2, so it's going to be 0. So I, I brought that down. I divided. I multiply. 0 times 2 is 0. Subtract. 0 minus 0 is 0. Well, this is pretty easy. Check. Is 0 smaller than 2? Yes, so I check my check. And then now I'm going to bring down the 8. Bring down the 8. So I bring down that 8. You notice my numbers are getting a little crooked. This is where it helps if you have some graph paper to use some graph paper to do this. So <clears throat> write it down. Now I'm going to start over with dividing again. 8 divided by 2 is 8 a multiple of 2. Why, yes, it is. 8, can be, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. Now I am going to multiply 4 times 2. Now notice I'm only doing the digit over here. 4 times 2 is 8. So 8 minus 8, so I'm going to subtract, is 0. And is 0 less than 2? Yes. So I check. And do I have a remainder? No, there's nothing left to bring down. So I am finished with this, but I'm not completely finished because I need to check. I need to multiply to check to see if my answer is correct. 304 minus, I mean, sorry, times, and all this wrong, 304 times 2. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 0 is 0. And 2 times 3 is 6. So does this match my dividend? It does, so I know my quotient is correct. So 608 divided by 2 is 304. All right, solve the next problem. Try it on your own and then use a check.